And then uh, the second one, and, and the third one, these are going to be much less important for us. We're not going to really talk about them at all. We're really going to talk about contingencies. So the second are tautologies. Okay, I'll try not to write too low that you can still see that. So uh, a tautology, these are uh, sentences that are they are, they have to be true. They're always true. I'll give you a simple example. A car is a car. The red hat is red. Those sentences have to be true virtue in, in virtue of their structure, because here you're just repeating, right? A car is a car. So you're just having an identity. Right here, and you're, and it's not an identity between two possibly things that appear different, but they really have a fundamental. You're, you're not saying anything like that. Nothing really interesting like that. You're just asserting that something is the same as itself, like you know, Doctor Feist is Doctor Feist, and you are you, or and a, a car is a car. Yeah, it's true, but it's trivial. So not all truths even can are are interesting. Lots of truths are very trivial ones, like this. Another trivial one is. The red hat is red, right? Why are these absolutely true? Well, if you tried to deny them, if I said, yeah, the red hat, you know what? It's not red. You'd probably say to me, um, maybe you don't understand how to use the language. Maybe you don't understand what red means. Um, maybe you're changing what red means, but you're not supposed to do that. You have to keep the words meaning the same thing or else meaning goes haywire if I can just change the words meaning whenever I want. Um, and also, if I said the red hat is not red, you might say something a little bit deeper and say something like, you have contradicted yourself, right? So these things, tautologies, they're true, and to deny them is to basically to utter a contradiction. But that brings us to our third and final sentence. Contradictions. Those are, as you would expect, those things, if these if contingencies can be true or false, tautologies have to be true, contradictions then have to be false. So in that sense, uh, you would have uh, things like uh, uh, a car is not a car, or the red hat is not red. So these kinds of things, these contradictions and tautologies, these are not really uh, going to be important. They never change their truth value. Tautology is always true. Contradiction is always false. Whereas these, these ones, of course, are the interesting ones. They can change their, their truth value depending on the way the world is, right? So in order to know what their truth value is, you have to go look, right? If I say Joe's two meters tall, you'd say, well, who's Joe? Where is he? And I need a meter stick and I got to check that out. If that's accurate, what cat, what Matt, what are you talking about? I got to go have a look at the way the world is. But if I just say, you know, I'd like you to investigate whether the red hat is red, you'd say, I don't have to investigate that. I can tell you right now, the red hat is red. Um, and, and a car is not a car. I don't have to investigate that. I can tell you that, that that's false. That a car, a car is a car. A car cannot be a not car. So this might all sound quite trivial. And, 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 it's straightforward, but it's not trivial. These things are relatively trivial, although there is some philosophical discussion. It's quite interesting about the nature of how these things work and how they do relate to the world. That's a, a more advanced topic than, than we need to worry about. So we're going to stick with these guys, uh, contingencies. And then um, now that we have a bit of a, a basic idea of sentences, I want to go back to my main thing here, which is, Arguments. So, and we're going to be talking about arguments that really consist of these with some subtle shades of, uh, uh, of difference that's coming up. I'll talk to you about that in a bit. But for now, uh, the main point to, to sort of to get into your head right now is that an argument isn't this sort of way, this thing that you use in everyday language. It's really it's a structure. It's composed of sentences, namely these kinds of contingencies. The elements are sentences, they can be true and false, but the argument as a structure, as a whole, is not said to be true or false. That's 
an incorrect way of speaking. The argument as a structure is said to be valid, invalid, sound, or good. So what we're going to do is unpack what do these terms mean? So we've dug a little bit into the argument, now into the, into the concept or the word argument. Now we're going to dig into these terms, valid, invalid, sound, and good. 